Well, we have this 450X uh, automower here torn apart. We were putting some wheel motors in it. And now we're at the part where we're going to start putting it back together. And we want to take this time to show you how to install the rope seal that goes in this channel here the whole way around the lower chassis on your automower. You'll have this on uh, all your automowers have a rope seal on them somewhere where you split them apart. So again, this one's a 450X. This would be the same as the other uh, like the 430X, 450XH, 430XH, the, the 550, 550H, 520, 520H. They're all going to have the same chassis here. Of course, the ones from the 315 and 310s and all that. They're a little bit different shape, but still, same process. They're going to have a rope seal in there. Even the 110s, or I'm sorry, the uh, the 115Hs, they have a rope seal in them. Um, but what we're seeing is people install these wrong when they do actually replace them. And you should be replacing this every time you open the mower up, just to make sure you're getting a good seal and not getting any moisture in to affect your circuit boards or anything. But what we see is people will try to take both the ends and put them both in this channel right here. And if you ever take one apart from the factory, you would know that that's not the right way to do it. They actually have an indent right here. You got your channel right here, and then there's an indent right here. And that's where you're going to start the end of your rope seal. So you're going to start it right here at this indent and go past that that um, that channel, that, that spot right there. This is where you're going to end with your rope seal. So you're just going to work this around here in your channel the whole way around. Just push it down in there. You don't have to smash it or anything like that. Just get it laying in there nice and, and neat. Of course, you do want to make sure all the dirt is out of this channel before you start putting the uh, rope seal down. Now, you're going to come around here to where you started, and now you're going to go over top of the first end that you started with here. You know, this part right here. You're going to go right over top of that, and then you're going to take the excess and put it down in this this channel right here. So right there, you've got two layers. They're over top of each other. And you might be saying, well, that can't work. That's wrong. You know, it's going to be higher here. It's going to take more to smash that down than over here and over here. But this is the way they instruct you to do it in the manual. And we take one apart that's brand new. You will see it's that way. The end of the rope seal here, where it overlaps, will be smashed completely flat. This one will smash down as well. And you'll get a nice tight seal there rather than having a possible opening where the moisture can get through because you have holes right here in the front of this where, you know, if you get in a water puddle or something like that, the moisture can come up through, water can come up through. So you want to make sure you do this the proper way that they instruct you to in the manual because obviously they've been doing this for quite a while and know the proper way to seal this up or they wouldn't be telling you that in the manual that that's the way to do it. So simple as that. That's how you install a new rope seal on your automower for the chassis. Again, make sure you put a new rope seal in there every time you split this thing open because you don't want to take a chance of getting moisture in there and having corrosion build up on your, your circuit boards and having expensive repairs just because you tried to cheap out on a couple dollar rope seal. So that's it. Uh, if you need parts for your automower, like a rope seal or wheel motors or any of that stuff like we're replacing right now, uh, you check out our website, www.roboticmowerservices.com. You can also shoot us an email at roboticmowerservices at gmail.com and we'll try to help you out with any questions or um, issues you might be having with your automower or if you're looking to order parts and you're not sure what you need, you can send us an email you know, with your model and serial number and we'll get you hooked up. So that's going to do it. Make sure you subscribe to this channel here so you can keep catching uh, videos like this to help you out with your repairs and give you little tips and tricks on how to get the best out of your automower. So thanks for watching.